In our previous video, we focused on fine-tuning the T5 NLP model to generate tags for Stack Overflow questions. The next step was to deploy the model. In this video, we are again going to fine-tune the T5 model but on a text summary data set and then deploy the model using Gradio. We will create a web app where we input news articles and generate summaries. Hey there, welcome to Learn Open CV. We are using the BBC News Summary Dataset, which contains news articles and summaries across five domains business, entertainment, politics, sports, and tech. Now let's fine tune and deploy the T5 model. To follow along with me, open the Learn Open CV blog post link from the description, click on the download code banner. Fill in your details and hit enter. You'll receive the starter code link on your email. Download it and let's get started. We start by installing the required libraries, transformers, datasets, TensorBoard, sentence piece, accelerate, evaluate, and rouge score. And then import the libraries. From the Hugging Face Transformers library, we import the T5 tokenizer for preparing our dataset. T5 for conditional generation provides the model specifically for the text generation task and the training arguments and the trainer API to fine tune the model. We will use load dataset from Hugging Faces datasets and download the BBC news summary and shuffle and split it into 80-20%. Our train dataset has 1779 articles and the test set has 445 articles. This is a news article and its summary from the dataset. The longest article is above 4000 words and the longest summary is around 2000 words. And the average word length is 384 for article and 167 for summary. Next, we will configure the training parameters. We are using the base model and fine-tuning it for 10 epochs with 4 batch size and 5 and 2 max context length. If the average word length was higher, we would have to increase the max context length as well. NumProx is for parallel data loading and OutDir is for the results directory. Next, we will load the tokenizer and create a function to handle the model inputs. The preprocess function inputs the news article and summary as input and prepares the model input and targets using the tokenizer and then maps the preprocess functions to load the dataset. So, the news article and its summary will look like this after tokenization. Now load the model on your GPU or your CPU and define the training metric Rouge score. Load the Rouge metric and use the compute metrics function from the trainer API. Rouge 1 is the ratio of matched words and predicted words. Rouge 2 is the ratio of matched biograms and predicted biograms. And Rouge L is the longest matching sequence. This function helps solve a possible memory leak. We're going to skip it. Now use the training parameters to configure the training arguments and pass it to the trainer API. Call trainer.train to fine tune your model. This is the training result. Save the tokenizer and we will move on to run inference. Download and unzip the test data and load the model and the tokenizer. The summarize text function will encode the input, generate the output tokens and decode the generated tokens to get the final output. Now iterate over the inference data and call the summarize text function for each news article. And here are the results. If these concepts are difficult for you to grasp, you should check out OpenCV University's TensorFlow and Keras Bootcamp. Go to openCV.org/university/ 
slash free courses to know more. Now let's deploy the model on Gradio. First, install and import Gradio and Transformers. Copy and paste the summarize text function which will handle the encoding, generating and decoding. This will be our prediction function. Next, load the model and the tokenizer. Now we will create the Gradio interface. Provide the prediction function. Add an input text box. An output text box. And give it a title. Interface.launch will create a local web app. And if you pass share equals true, you'll get a shareable link. Run python app.py on the terminal and wait for it to launch. Now paste the news article in the input text box and click on submit. Wait for a few seconds and you'll get the news snippet summary on the right side. So that's all about fine tuning the T5 model to summarize text and then deploying it using Gradio. If you like this video, why don't you check out fine tuning T5 model to generate tags for Stack Overflow questions or other videos in the large language models playlist. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.